Right, that's all the feathers done, pretty much. That's a close-up of the feathers on the head. Now, I like to add the eye in now. I mean, it requires cutting in a hole in there and, and a bit of epoxy putty to fix the eye. I get the eyes from a taxidermy place or there is a carving place that supplies things for birds and they look the eyes look like this. Let's see. It's come on a piece of cart or oh, bubble not bubble wrap but um shrink wrapped to it. These are the correct size for the wood pigeon. Wood pigeon eyes are red. This bird starts looking alive when the eyes are in. These are taxidermy eyes, glass, and I'll just show you, try and show you the effect they have. The eye, that's as though you're sneaking up from behind the bird. He's looking behind, looking back at you, and as his head turns, the eye seems to track you. Kind of spooky. Not really. It's the glass dome magnifies the pupil, which is actually painted on the back or underneath on the flat of the dome. Here, I'll show you. A, where did I? I prepared earlier. Put them down somewhere. Here we go. Thus, uh, taxidermy eyes. Glass. Not sure I was going to use these birds ones on, but yeah. Dome of colour, just paint it on the back, that's all it's need. And the pupils like a little pimple in the centre. And that is all you need to have eyes that look like they're following you. And that's pretty neat. And the bird's becoming alive now. And you start seeing the character of the bird and imagining its personality. And I find myself occasionally stroking the bird absentmindedly like it's a, a, a pet, like my dog, and talking to it. Who's a pretty boy? Who's a pretty boy? How pretty pretty you are. One day you'll grow up and become a real bird. Yeah. So anyway, um, after carving uh, all the feathers and smoothing, contouring them and smoothing them down, I have to detail them. To do that, I use this hot picker pen, that's one of the pens I use. Um, it's like a knife profile and very thin and sharp. Um, plug it into the machine, heats up the tip, and uh, put in the fine detail, as I'm miming here.
So there he is, all burnt in, detail burnt in. Some texture for the more shagadelic areas. I'll sign under the wing here later. But, um, he's almost ready to paint now. Um, before I do that, I need to um, give him a perch. Um, these uh, feet here need to be carved in to fit into the branch. I have a contender. Um, I'll see if I can show you the contender. I'm not sure I'm happy with it though. Um, a branch like this. And this has got a really nice um, spiral curve to it. And I want to clean it up, take the bark off. Bugs live out under the bark and continue to eat away at the thing if you don't do that. Um, and moisture can uh, and sometimes build up under there and create a nice um, climate for bugs and things. So um, every branch I do, I uh, per use for a perch is cleaned up in that way. And sometimes on this one, I think I'm actually going to saw off this stubby branch that's quite ugly and smooth it off just to create better lines. But um, keep some of these interesting twiddly bits um, to add some interest, but I'm not sure I'll be able to find an appropriate perch for the bird, but you can see there, I'll just use this as an example, I'll have to curve, carve the the shorts of the bird, and also have to do the toes. So that's another few steps plus painting. So there's the cleaned up branch mounted to the wall. I'm quite pleased with that. It looks pretty neat. It mounts to the wall with a wedge. I'll demonstrate. There's the base where it is. I'll lift it off. And that wedge fits inside branch and it fits on it. I'm quite pleased with this one. It, it seems to clip on even. So I'm going to install it. It has a satisfying clunk. the branch and there's my doggy. Now back to the branch. The wood pigeon is going to sit like that. Oh, I had to aim and hold it up at the same time. Sit on the branch like that. And I have to just carve in the, the bird so its feathers are fluffing over the branch. And maybe I can get away with not putting in the feet. It'll be the feathers will be fluffing over the feet effect, which would be pretty neat. It is in the right pose for that. Sort of content and well fed. So that's the next thing. and painting. <laughs>